Hi. Hi. Today I'm playing Risk of Rain 2. Wow. A roguelike where for the next hour you're gonna run around, kill a bunch of stuff, collect a bunch of items, become an all-powerful god. Goomba stomp bosses literally just kill everything in seconds. I am absolutely the unstoppable tremble before my power, you foolish <laughs> And I died in one hit. But that's just Risk of Rain 2, baby, and let me tell you. It's fracking glorious. What the fuck is going on? What is, what is this? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't. No, no. Oh, no, come on. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'll do one more. So Risk of Rain is one of my all-time favorite roguelikes. It's right up there, in my opinion, with Isaac and Toe Jam and Earl. And yes, Toe Jam and Earl is a roguelike. Fucking fight me. But despite being one of my favorites, I feel like it never really got the recognition and popularity it deserved. Possibly due to the fact it came out during a time period where you couldn't open Steam without them shoving some trash new roguelike in your face. Or possibly due to the horrible inaccessible multiplayer, which required manual port forwarding, which is just a giant pain in the ass. And the absence of this system is actually a selling point for the second game. But I'll let you, the viewer, come to your own informed opinion. Either way, when they first teased Risk of Rain 2 to be a 3D sequel, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know about that. But now that I've played it, and, and boy, have I played it, this game is a goddamn masterpiece. I don't even, how did they do it? How did, how the fuck did they do this? It just feels like you're playing the first game in 3D. Wow. 3D. Wow. Third dimension. Risk of Rain 2 is absolutely one of the greatest single player experiences I've had in a video game in recent years. And I haven't even began to touch on the multiplayer, which is amazing, by the way. And not just because you can fuck with your friends, but well, you know me. Like I was saying. <laughs> that was for, why did you just take that? Does it matter? Yeah. It was for Brandon. There you go. That would have made it funnier. All right, Brandon, take that. Dude, we didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, give me one sec. Give me one sec, because I got enough gold for the last chest now. One. No. You fucking bastard. I... <laughs> Barney, you're still a fucking rat bastard for, for opening the teleporter. No, you know that, right? that's not true. I did what any man in my position would do, and you just cannot fault me for that. <laughs> if you'd see this here, I, I was running towards it, and like as I press the button, the little red thing comes up. I... <gasps> no! Barney, you know you know the teleporter's not charging when we're both out here, right? Yeah, well, uh, I'm just coming this way to look off into the distance just to check, like, what's going on. Like, Oh, yeah, to be sure, just to be sure, though, that just you're to not be sure take like... this chest that you made me miss. Yeah. Oh, no, that wasn't my plan. I was just coming to look at the... Uh, Did you know these birds? They actually have health bars and you can shoot them. Now go back in the teleporter zone so I can buy my fucking chest. Oh, I'm just gonna stay and look at this island over here because it, it's kind of nostalgic and it reminds me of times gone by. I was kind of thinking instead of doing that, you could go back to the teleporter zone. I'm just gonna stay. Oh, uh, hold on, my phone is ringing. Actually, one sec. Now listen, Hello? my phone's ringing too. Hello? Hi, yes. Barney, go get the fucking teleporter. You. I'm on the phone bastard. right now. Yes, this is Barney. You're actually a fat moron. Oh, it's Barney. about my one million dollar donation to the the children's hospital. Yes. Oh, you want to put? You're you want to build a statue in my honor? Moron. Not funny. Go get it. Listen, I don't have Listen, patience. Listen, while I'm AFK on the phone, could you protect me so I don't die? I'm gonna put, push you off here. Hold up. Okay. No! Alright, Barney, none of this. I will- I- I'm- I'm seconds away from all the pouring and starting over. Oh, Luna coin. Oh, Luna coin. Okay. Fuck. Now I'll go back. Barney, this is so Okay, much okay, 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 okay. Can we just actually play the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do it. Okay, how about this? How about this? You come back to the teleporter, and then and then once it's done, you race me to the chest. I've already quit the menu. You know, I gave up daggers just out of spite to reset. Yeah, I don't care either way. Man, you're Charlotte. Charlotte. You're actually you're actually turning into 2015 John. You're actually turning into me from two two three years ago. You know? Yeah. That's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, menu. Here we go. All right, let's play again. I hope you understand that I was too fast and too furious for you to do such a thing. Well, you are furious. Oh, 
Fuel! G Fuel! <laughs> First item, G Fuel. Save 10% off your G Fuel order with code Barney. Actually, that's a lie. From now until the 23rd of April, you can save 30% off all G Fuel products with code Barney. Oh! Don't wait. Order right now. Barney's one of the reasons why the death penalty should be legal. I would never do anything to warrant being needed to be killed like that. No, no, the death penalty should also go out to people that are just extensively annoying over a longer period of time. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, yeah. Meet Brady. He's just your average hat-in-time speedrunner. Oh, no. But don't let his innocent appearance fool you. He's a fucking gremlin. This item is called the Fuel Cell. It allows multiple charges of your active item. Wow. Now let me paint you a little picture. Minute zero. Me and the bros, including Brady, drop into what I assume is just gonna be another fun run with my bros. Brady has other plans. Minute 30, we find a fuel cell printer. Similar to me asking for all your Twitch Prime subscriptions, twitch.tv slash Barney, Brady asks that we donate all our items to print as many fuel cells as possible because, quote, I'm going to totally one-shot the boss with my active item, dude. For some reason, we oblige. We print 27 fuel cells. This was a mistake. Minute 36. We start the teleporter ready to fight the boss. It is now that Brady reveals his true plan, his most devilish scheme. His active item, you ask? Glowing meteorite. An item that, when activated, drops meteorites non-stop for the next 20 seconds. Brady has 28 charges of this item. Do you guys know what happens when you drop 28 glowing meteorites? I'm about to show you. How many fuel cells do you have, Brady? 27. <laughs> yeah, you're oh, all no. going to die. Oh no, <laughs> my game's lagging. No, Brady, <laughs> Brady. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> I think my game crashed. Skills. <laughs> you crashed my game. I'm, I'm frozen. <laughs> What did you do? He crashed my game. <laughs> I used I used 28 meteorites. What do you mean, what did I do? Risk of rain 2.exe is not responding. And the game is closed. <laughs> now, sometimes you're going to have a run that ends almost as fast as it started. Oh, no. That is not good. I can't even I can't even get behind the thing. OK, I'm on 20 health. We got this. Kill the boss. Easy. Oh, achievement unlock. OK, dodge. No. But sometimes, just sometimes, you get the god run. I was just a tired boy ready to go to bed when the risk of rain demon started whispering again. One more, one more, one more. One more. Uh, okay, one more, one more. I'm doing one more and then I'm going to bed. So there I was on my last game of the night. Definitely my last game of the night. Not gonna do another one after this. And my items are looking pretty okay. No, nothing amazing. But then I came across an altar. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> I mean, I gotta take it, right? I gotta do it. Mimicking my questionable life decisions, I took the dark bargain, and with half my health and double damage, I took on the hellscape. It was then that the game decided to reward me for my stupidity with one of the best items in the game. Brilliant behemoth. Now my attacks explode. Thank you, game. And the game replied, you're welcome. Want another one? I had hit an insane power spike. The RNG gods had blessed me with power beyond anything I could have expected. I stomped through the next couple of levels, all the while praising the blessed beings that had bestowed upon me such a gift. And once again, they responded. You're welcome. Do you want another one? <laughs> what? At this point, the game had become trivial. I was gaining items and power faster than the difficulty could even keep up. And so for the next couple of hours, I went unmatched. I gained the power of speed, the power of flight, the power to literally stomp my enemies into dust. Do you guys want to see what an end game boss looks like when you have 13 fireworks? See, if I hit the teleporter, these will just go, oh, oh my god, oh, oh my goodness, what are the fireworks? Dude, that was all the fireworks. I was barely using my left wing. I gotta these fi No, that's more Wow, they died so fast! But little did I know, the gods who had given me these gifts were not benevolent. No. 
They had a plan, for they foresaw what I could not. Did you know once you get far enough into the game, enemies just stop spawning? Stages once brimming with chaos had become dull and silent. I actually AFK'd to take a piss whilst charging this teleporter. I was not in Gamer Heaven anymore. No, I was in Gamer Purgatory, sent here to atone for my sins. The hours of trolling my friends had caught up with me. I had no way out. No way out except... Obliteration. Two hundred and fifteen minutes, my longest run to date. I had become God, and it was lonely. Yeah, I guess I'll do one more.